Hello everyone, welcome to study automation. In this tutorial, we will see how we can create delete endpoint. Although it's easy, what we can do, we can copy the get request and then so if you can see the parameter here we have API books and then ID. This is similar to the get request by ID get method. So I'll just copy the get method. You can see whatever things here we have. I'll just copy all things from here and let's put it on delete. Just we have to change here delete method. De delete and then parameter should be the same since we need id it should be numeric type integer now in response we don't need these things simply i can write that data is deleted and here summary we can say this api is used used to delete record from mongodb database so if i'll save it and then we can go here on swagger click execute now you can see we have one endpoint created delete if i click here delete then you can see that color is automatically changing as per the uh, method that we are using so this is used to delete record from my from MongoDB database and this part is mandatory so if I'll say let's say I'll go on the box run and then I can say execute so here we can see 103 is not a proper way so let's say if I want to delete 103 then what i have to do i'll go here and click try it out i'll pass here 103 click execute we should get some response book is deleted and then if i'll go here again clear the response and execute it again now in this response you can see we don't have now 103 Similarly, if I want to delete 108 or any any field, I will simply pass here id 108, click execute. So, you will see book is deleted. Here we can clear the response, execute it again. Now, you can see 108 is not available here. So, this is all about swagger and how we can write code, how we can write documents for the swagger. So we have seen this video. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.